This is the September tour of our allotment and polytunnel and orchard. Let's start. Cucumber passandras every year has done very well. This is the one of the varieties that are grow every year. And this year I've let it actually to go horizontally over. inside the polytunnel and the cucumber here has won a second prize in a vegetable show and when we come to lower foliage we see the beautiful peppers I never had as much success with the peppers as this year they never grow to this height and I'm really happy with this. We ate a lot of this and really enjoyed it. So Marzano tomato is one of the best tomatoes I've ever grown. Every year it gives a heavy crop of dense uh, tomatoes suitable for um, yeah, breakfast, sandwich, because they are not very juicy and watery. They give the best ingredient for um, sandwiches. You can carry them without getting wet, soggy bread. John Bauer is a new tomato for me. And I've grown it on recommendation by Nikki Haley, I think, or Highly, something. <laughs> it's a lady in the island. She has a website, and she recommended that uh, gives fruit in the short summers of Ireland. And I'm really happy with the result. It's really good. Usually, these big tomatoes take a long time to do uh, to size up to a good size. And even this year, I have this terrace is already going to become orange, and I've led it horizontally to go over the, near the roof of the polytunnel ceiling. This is the Sun Gold F1, I wonder. But it has given terrace after terrace of fruit. Look at this terrace. It could be a, easily a winner if I knew that we can take green tomatoes also beside the normal tomatoes to the vegetable shop. Oh, we will enjoy it anyway. We have another prize winner, Indigo Comcote, won a third prize in a very high competitive section, tomatoes. They look like small eggplants or aubergines, don't they? Beautiful golden crown cherry tomato truss. It's not giving much, but what it gives is beautiful. This is the big boy. That's a variety of tomato. We bought two plants of it from the Ludlow Plant Center. And it was the first tomato we took and cut in the Ludlow again. <laughs> we took it from here to Ludlow. <laughs> From Hertfordshire to Shropshire. That was yummy. Tomato variety sweet aperitif. Very tiny tomato. But very sweet. Unfortunately it doesn't give much terraces, but what it gives is delicious. Yellow pear or yellow plum tomato. I think if I could take this, I would easily win the first prize for this. Anyway, some part of it was green. I thought the rules would not let us take green tomatoes. I have to pinch out the tip of this. At the moment, not polytunnel, we have the summer crops like this basils along the tomatoes. This is the F1. 
good variety for taste beside the winter crops like these lettuces like the red veined sorrel large coriander sorry that's parsley coriander coriander no parsley from the seed and coriander from the seed again a recent signs beside beautiful deal it's a big deal to have a deal in our place huh? lots of chive nasturtium self-seeded and again coriander beautiful lettuces for winter Again, preparing for winter and we have less of lettuces. Some monkey flowers. I used to call them from childhood monkey flowers. Don't know what's the name. <laughs> but these are monkey flowers for me. Beautiful red lettuces. Beside the cost lettuce. Plenty of endive from seed. I have to transplant them. Lovely Yana gold apples. I think I have to harvest them now. They look ready, at least to me. Red forest of apples. They look so miserable and tiny before the rain during the drought. And look at them now. They have really sized up after a few, just a few showers of rain. We will harvest a few today. Blackberry thornless Oregon has done really well year after year and we had it earlier this year because of the drought. The only thing is that it produces so much you don't have the time to and the space to harvest and keep them. Or do we well we should make jam of this. The beauty of our orchard, the Iranian medlar. This is the first year we got a good crop. Yeah, the best medlar in the world. And they're gradually getting soft. So probably in several weeks we will be able to harvest them. Or maybe in October. The beauty of the Iranian medlar. These are our strawberry apples, <laughs> sorry, strawberry grapes. I was looking at the apple just before this. <laughs> yeah, I didn't film that part. Anyway. I have too many apples at the moment. These are doing really well. Oh! So fruity, tastes like a strawberry. The strawberry grape is tasting like a strawberry. So beautiful, so beautiful. Makes me <laughs> compose a point for that. I got poetic. Our most delicious pear is being protected by a beautiful spider web. Unfortunately, because of the drought, they have not sized up really well, but yet we have some fruit. Doina de Comis pear. Mm, not a very good year for apples. This apple, which is sunset, has suffered a lot. I should have thinned it, but anyway, it never thinned. So, 
A lot of damage by the wasps and the other creatures. This bountiful has escaped any wasp because it doesn't have any fruit. The cooking dessert apple, dual purpose. And again, the best performer usually every year was the Concord, but very small this year because of the drought. These are the pumpkins, some of the pumpkins. They suffered somehow from the drought. Puchikikuri must be at least three times this size. I'm sure if I look in this jungle of Three Sister, I will find a lot of surprises in the form of lovely but tiny pumpkins for this year. I'll see that the uh, um, <laughs> broad bees have germinated among the, uh, what is now our cabbage patch. Well done. I didn't sow them, they grew on their own. Persian crest, as ever, growing triumphantly. Look at the quality of the leaf. I can harvest, start to harvest. And this is our own seed of the lettuce mix. I am thinking now to make my own lettuce mix. This is from our own seeds, and they have grown well. Our own uh, seed of the saved seed of the Persian crest and our own uh, spinach, Medina variety. It has cross-pollinated with whatever was available. But look at the quality. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. This will give us a lot of crop in the, and harvest in the winter and autumn. Again, nursery bed of some lettuces, some kale, Mizuna and this one is supposed to be Chinese cabbage very badly attacked by some weevils our rocket is doing well this is my Persian uh, my uh, chervil coriander and uh, parsley experiment parsley has germinated chervil I don't see anything probably they need some water I will give them some water now yeah we keep on Looking at this experiment, this one also something that didn't germinate, except a few. And uh, yeah, or uh, this is another variety. I think of the lettuces that was sown here. And it again, Persian crest, Persian crest, doing well. I wonder which is beautiful. Pumpkin or this Pichunia? Yeah, you decide. It's beautiful, lovely. Hmm. I think these are the either bro sprouting broccoli or yeah, purple sprouting. Okay, I'm having some seeds now here soon. And uh, some of these lovely leeks have gone to seed, so I keep them, let them go to seed. I will keep the seed for next year. Okay, here we have some seeds that I've sown here, and they're germinating. We have a good germination here. Let us see how they will do, continuing. Ah, this is ready. Out to harvest. The radicchio. And these beans, I think I've finished uh, today, probably I'll lift them. Yeah, I'm fed up with beans now. And I want uh, salads, as much as possible. This is the general view of the allotment in September. Uh, actually, I went one row back, so you can see this bit also. Beautiful combination of flowers and leeks and kales.
so many beautiful colors. It seems the pigeons don't like these ones. And my lovely experiment on the different our own seeds germination. And just before finishing and wrapping up this tour, I want to show you our um, sunflowers. Rats and the squirrels have not been active this year, it seems. No wonder. And the mystery of that pumpkin slash or dash um, marrow goes on. I don't know what is it. I think I planted a um, uh, green marrow, light green, like called Lebanese squash or some courgette, summer squash. But what I have now is a pumpkin-like thing. Really? I may save the seed of that.